the Pasha Baychi contains within it the brachos that Yaakov gave to his children, brachos that are relevant not only for the here and now, but rather have relevance for posterity, lonetzach. In the bracha that Yaakov gives to Yosef, before the brachas in Perek Memtes, so the Torah has the following comment. Vayomer Yisrael al Yosef, hinei anochi meis, Yaakov tells Yosef, I'm about to die, v'hoi alokim yimachem v'heshiv eschem al eretz avosechem. Hashem will be with you, and will return you to Eretz Yisrael. V'ani and I, says Yaakov, nasati l'chashchem achad alachecha. I'm going to give you an extra chilek, over and above that which is given to your brothers. Asher lakachti miyato emori becharbi v'kashti. That I took from the emorim with my sword and with my keshet, with my bow. So Rashi comments, becharbi v'kashti, says Rashi, when Shimon Balevi killed out the entire city of Shrem, so all of them, in effect, the surrounding area, wanted to gang up on Yaakov and to kill him. And Yaakov, of course, was compelled to go ahead and take up a sword and defend himself. He had to use clay milchama, the cherub and the keshet. There is a famous Targum Unkulus on this Pasuk. The Targum is concerned about the two weaponry, the two forms of weaponry the Torah describes, Becharbi and Bekashti. And the Targum translates it in a very striking way. Becharbi says the Targum refers to Bitzlusi, which refers to Tfilah. And Bekashti refers to Beusi, that refers to Bakasha. What's the distinction between these two Kalim, these two Klei Milchama, and how do we understand the Targum? So here, both the Meshachachma, Rabbi Yassim Chakrein Midvinsk in his parish of Torah, and the briskel of Rabbi Elvis Soloveitchik, Zuchel Nevacha, both are mechavein to the same explanation. They explain there are two types of tefillah. One is tefillah b'tzibur, and the Gemara comments in Brachas and Davches that Eina Kodesh Baruch Hu Moes b'tfilas and Shorabim. If a person joins the tzibur, they are assured that tefillahs will be answered. Tefillah b'tzibur has a koach has an incredible koach, because in effect, what are we doing? We are relying upon the schuyot of the tzibur, on the merit of the tzibur. We're not relying on our own individual merit, but rather, we are tole on the schus tzibur. And there's a haftacha, that the tzibur, their prayers will always be answered. Mashenkeng, when a person daves be a chidus, he daves as an individual, he does not have that kind of assurance. Whether Hashem will respond or not respond to his tzibur is a function of the individual, the level of tzitkus, the righteousness, the schiyot, the merits of that individual. And therefore, tefillah b'yachid is not as powerful as tefillah b'tzibur. And what the Targum is doing here is contrasting the two types of tefillah using the two types of klein l'chama that I mentioned here, cherev and keshet. Cherev is a sword. The moment the sword is drawn from its scabbard, from its holder, from its sheath, so the sword, of course, when it is utilized, the sword can have deadly kind of effect, a deadly impact. The impact of the sword is immediate, the impact of the sword is, Rahman al-Islan, fatal. A cherub, it's drawn, and right away it has the desired impact. Mashenkin, a keshet, a bow, that really depends on how taught, how matuach. The bow, of course, an arrow, depending on the extent that a person could render it taut, and the tighter, it is the greater the metach, and the greater the metach, the greater the effect, the impact of the keshen. So the Targum is telling us, say both Rameh Simcha Kerem Bidvin, Slamesh Chachma, and the Biskorav Avel Salavechik, that there's a fundamental distinction between Tzvila B'Tzibur and Tzvila B'Yachid. Tzvila B'Tzibur is likened to a cherev. The moment the person draws the cherev and utilizes it, as I said, the impact is immediate and deadly. The cherev is able to penetrate, the cherev is able to have the effect that I want it to have. Mashenk in the keshet, the effect of the keshet is a function of the person who is able to extend the keshet, 
The more I can extend it, the greater the koch, the greater the metach, the greater the tension, and the greater the ultimate impact. If, however, I don't have the ability, the strength, to extend it, then obviously the keshet will not have the same kind of designed impact as the cherev. That's the distinction, say, these two dolim between tefillah b'tziba and tefillah b'yachid. Therefore, it is critical for a person to be mishtate b'tfilas and shel tzibur, hein kel kabiyo lo yimas, ein ha-kodesh bochu mois b'tfilas and shel rabim. The schusim of a tzibur are absolutely powerful. And the Rebbe Shalom is going to respond to the tefilas of a tzibur, and that is represented by the cherev, which has the desired effect immediately. The Torah says in West Chana, when it speaks about the unique qualities of Klal Yisrael, one of them is that Mi Goy Godol Sadikim, we have ethical and moral chukim, but the second is Mi Goy Godol Asheloh Elokim Krovim Elov, Kashem Elokim Nebuchol Kareinu Elov, that refers to Tfilah B'Tzibur. Klal Yisrael, the concept of Tzibur is unique to Klal Yisrael. The notion that we are not just simply Yechidim, but we are an amalgam that has coalesced, that has merged into a new entity called Tzibur, and that Tzibur has unbelievable power, unbelievable passion, unbelievable Kayach, and to the extent that a person joins the Tzibur, al tifrosh minat Tzibur, especially in Tzvila, those Tzvila are going to be answered by the Rebbe Shalom. And that is what the Targum calls Tzlusi. Masha'en Kain, the Bakoshes of Yachid, are not as effective, because they are predicated upon the righteousness, the tzitkus, the schuyot, the merits of this yachid. If the yachid doesn't have the requisite merits, of course its philos are not going to have the same desired potent impact as they would with tzibur. And that's what the Targum calls be'usi, bakoshos of yachid, which are compared to bekashti, compared to a keshet, to a bow. So here we have a fundamental distinction between Tfilah B'yachid and Tfilah B'tzibur and how significant it is for a person to recognize the importance of davening B'tzibur in order to be able to get the desired effect of the Cherev as opposed to the less desirable effect of the Keshet. And that explains the discrimination and the distinction between Tfilah B'tzibur and Tfilah B'yachid.